I found some people almost immediately close their mind when they listen to a different interpretation. I'm showing you here the ideal situations that perhaps this type of people is expecting. These people have come to formulate that this is Beethoven and this is the only way to interpret his music. The illustration I'm showing here may appear obviously ridiculous to expect the same Beethoven from Uchida and Kisin as the Beethoven I see because these two pianists are such famous giants with highly respectable reputation. But to other pianists with less or no fame, some people may unwarily do expect to hear the same Beethoven as how they see him. Something that will never happen. If hypothetically this happens, this will be terrifyingly boring. We ignore and thus we lose the human factor if we insist that this is the way it should happen. The human factor in interpretation is the very thing that builds the wealth in our musical experience. Now I'm going to show you here, this is what actually happens. Differing shades of Beethoven, but then people argue whose Beethoven is more Beethoven. It would be more appropriate to say, this is my Beethoven. It is not about breaking my own perspective, quite the opposite. This is saying that this is the way I see Beethoven and accept the fact that someone else may see Beethoven differently. Even though I have my own opinion on this composer, it is never of my interest to argue whose Beethoven is more Beethoven. I would rather bring here in my lecture the wonder of the human factor during the interpretation process. It is a combination of our personality and our personal discoveries of a particular composer and a particular piece of music. You see in my illustrations that the interpretation process stretches the spectrum of a color to its furthest boundaries. And to balance that, the analytical process keeps the interpretations to stay within the borders of plausible logical reasonings. Still, we are in the world of artistry, in which many things are supposed to be flexible and subjective. Also, we are dealing with a non-living composer long gone before us. But at least there is this more concrete way of explaining the very abstract matter why we have differing interpretations. It is always an interesting journey of every artist to find the appropriate balance that accommodates the desire of personal artistry and at the same time respects the soul of the composers that lives within their musical legacies. This finding balance needs a lot of exercises and it grows with every experience. I'm showing here that you and I may have a common area in which we agree on who Beethoven was and how to bring him out of his music. Outside this common area, no need for arguments. There are many factors affecting the differing interpretation. They are our differing personalities, differing interests, differing tastes perhaps, or differing background trainings, differing ways our mind operates, and so on. I'm giving you an example the first variations from the 32 variations of Beethoven. This may be the preference for some people. Piercing dramatic, strongly articulated. Or this way, sweetly and hauntingly nostalgic, dancing quietly, lonely, a bit lamenting. Or this way, the repeated notes resounding the terror, the horror, disgust, sarcasms, like fleeing from one's own shadow. Different interpretation will be more varied and pronounced as we listen to people's opinion. This world is actually so crowded with differing perspectives on the same composers and even on the same performance of a piece. Because the audience have their various personalities and musical backgrounds as well. Nevertheless, between the two educated listeners, there should be a common area which can be narrow or wide. This human factor that creates differences is the thing that makes us human. We are enriching each other. In my own journey of learning, those with different interpretations than what I have gave me as much learning as those with the same interpretation. 
I may have a new set of preferences, I may not, but for sure I would have learned something. I keep telling my students, do listen to what the experts say about their Beethoven's, but at the same time, do find your own Beethoven. Finding the right proportions of mixing the two sources depends on how honest my students desire to learn and how mature the mindset is in responding to different perspectives of the same composers or of the same piece. Mm -hmm.